Dr. Payne Effects, and today we are going... Three, two, one, start. Three, two, one, start. Three, two, one, sink. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Try again. Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Payne here with Dr. Payne Effects, here with our new show, Good, Better, Best, the only pedal review show online where we compare pedals through three different amps at three different price points. Our first amp is a Vox Solid State amp, followed by a small Subro Tube amp, and followed by a Boutique Port City Pearl amp. So we're going to be running each pedal through all three of these amps so you can get an idea of what it might sound like through your amp at home. Thanks, Thanks to an Instagram, Instagram poll, poll the, the first, first pedal, pedal we will be reviewing is the Deep Space, Space Devices Dust. Dust. Now, the Deep Space Devices Dust is a really interesting pedal, kind of a combination between a fuzz and a delay. Now, on the outside of the pedal, we have one knob and two foot switches. And on the inside of the pedal, there is an internal dip switch to set the volume for the pedal. Uh, now, it goes from really quiet to really, really loud, so I have it set just above Unity, as I like to get a little bit of a boost from it. Now, the knob controls the amount of delay that is within the fuzz. Uh, you really kind of have to hear it to uh, for it to make sense, so I'm just going to play it right away. Uh, just to, to go again with the features, uh, again, one knob controlling that delay parameter. One of the foot switches is our bypass switch, and the other switch is an oscillating switch, which will cause rapid repeats of the last thing you played. Uh, so you'll hear a little bit of that as well. So we're going to start off with the good amp. Here is our clean tone. Some of that uh, box twang. with the delay parameter set to all the way to the left. It's got a little bit of buzzing through the box. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice real uh, kind of gated fuzz. Let's uh, try that some more. Now 
everything else but this pedal. Uh, no reverb from the amp, and so uh, right now the pedal is producing all of that sort of wall of sounds. Very, very cool. So now I'm going to turn it up to about where I usually keep it, which is right around 11, 11.30. Uh, once you get it past 12 is when it starts getting really weird, so we'll get there in a second. So here it is. <laughs> it starts getting a little bit weird and you can start hearing a little bit of a delay between when I play the node and when the node actually uh, plays. So. a bit of a buzz on the solid state. Uh, again, I'm running this through uh, my entire pedal board, uh, but I do have a lot of buffers here uh, to make sure that the signal goes all the way through. Uh, and you also hear when I play through some of the other amps that it's not quite as buzzy. So uh, we will move on to the next amp, which is our better amp. Now, as you can probably hear, the Supro comes with a nice how the pedal sounds through it. Again, we're going to start way back at uh, zero. So you can probably hear already a bit of a difference in tone. Uh, first of all, when it's activated, it's a lot more quiet going through the, the small tube amp. Definitely produces a little bit of a buzz. You can kind of hear it. But it's not quite quite as obtrusive as the box. Uh, so when we play, you definitely hear the mids coming through from the amp. Uh, pardon me. You can definitely hear the mids coming through through the amp. Uh, definitely a bit more full. Less glitchy, actually, at this uh, high level. Oh, awesome. Uh, and then the bridge pickup. Ah, still that really great 
gated sound. So let's pull it up uh, again to about where I use it, which is around 11, 11.30. sonic characteristics, uh, a lot warmer, a lot more uh, heavier in the mids uh, as it's coming through that amp. Uh, and so definitely uh, gives you a different sound. Um, so very, very cool. So here's our clean tone. blackface fender tone really nice cleans so let's go ahead and again start the dust uh, all the way to the left a little bit uh, loud there let's turn it down just a smidge you know from one and a half to one all right let's do it sustain through this amp. Versus through the solid state, it really glitches out and gates super quickly. Uh, again, nothing different about how I'm running it. Uh, I've got it run through a, a splitter that's just running to all three amps. Uh, and it's running through the same pedal boards. <laughs> is such an important thing to do because this pedal sounds so different through this really nice boutique amp that's honestly it's typically what you see on these pedal channels uh, and when you play it through an amp like the one you might have at home whether it be a tiny little tube amp a nice boutique amp or a smaller little solid state amp the pedal may sound completely different. And so while through the Port City Pearl, this thing is a sustaining machine, even at low levels, when you throw it through the Vox solid state, it really <laughs> glitches out super, super quick with the gate. So uh, we'll keep on testing it with this one. Uh, sounds amazing, of course, but uh, here we go.
it up all the way. So that is Good, Better, Best, and that has been The Dust by Deep Space Devices. Again, very, very cool pedal. Check out deepspacedevices.com. Uh, check out their Instagram. Really, really cool. If you liked our review, please uh, subscribe. We're going to have a lot more coming through. Uh, follow us on Instagram at doctor underscore pain underscore effects dot com uh, and you can see the links below, including links to where you can get your very own dust by Deep Space Devices. A very cool pedal, a definite, uh, definitely found its place on my pedal board.